So one of the reasons that Mark and I, Mark and I just had a, a couple conversations prior to this, and not to and mention a nooner, yeah, but otherwise, exactly. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but one of the things that we share is, is this horrible, dark musical theater history. We, both, we were both in Greece in high school. That's true. I was Teen Angel. Mm-hmm. So we both are familiar with jazz hands. That's right. And um, so, of course, it is true. the question... When, I have to tell you that when my parents took me to see the musical Annie when I was a little boy, I am sure they walked out thinking, my son will come out tomorrow. <laughs> <And> I, <laughs> You did not just make that up right now. Just now. It was just a moment of brilliance. Yes. <laughs> so your, your book was, was optioned. Indeed uh, it was. To, to have a film made. I'm wondering what you're picturing, and, and I, I don't, I'm not quite sure exactly how, you're, how involved you're going to be, but are you picturing something sort of more stylistic, John Waters-esque, like, but I'm a cheerleader, or something more, you know, mean girls? in terms of the, how they're going to produce it. I, I think they're moving more towards the Mean Girls kind of uh, angle. Yeah, and I, yay, go, go Mean Girls, you know. <laughs> it's, it's really sort of sad, you know, I have to say, deep down, I'm just very superficial, you know, because... Good for you. I sit around with other authors and they talk about these esoteric books that they love and these movies and all, they all talk about these foreign films that they think are so great. My favorite movie of last year was Mean Girls. I love, I mean truly, if there was any movie I could have written that would have been the one. I just thought that was hysterical. So It, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, they're, they're looking for sort of a, you know, a, a, a Ferris Bueller for the 21st century, if you will. They're, they've been saying Ferris but flaming, okay, you know. <laughs> Or as my publisher likes to say, Catcher in the Rye as performed by the kids from FAME! Because <laughs> uh, here's the thing, it was, this book, obviously some of it really was drawn from my real life. Absolutely, yeah. I mean you had, the, 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 the main character in the play is in Greece. Yeah, and we, we really, we were the, the play people, and this book, it, at its heart, really is my loopy love letter to all of those misfit kids who dressed weird and sang show tunes in their high school hallways and who, you know, dressed as nuns and priests to buy beer <laughs> on the entirely correct theory that no one would ever ask a nun or priest for ID. Absolutely. You know? It's brilliant. Yeah. And I, I really wanted to pay tribute. That was a world that I lived in. You lived in it. Absolutely. And yet I'd never seen it portrayed on the page, strangely enough. Um, I actually haven't either. And that's what's wonderful about it. And the book is actually very, it, it, it reads like a movie. I mean, it's, it's definitely, you can picture everything so beautifully. And you put yourself in that time so well. Thank you. Um, you have excellent taste. I do. It's weird. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'm wondering um, if you're, if you're, so you're looking at the film. Oh, being the movie. Produced. Yeah, I, you know, I have to tell you, I actually, I don't have any involvement in the movie right now because uh, dealing with Hollywood, it's like a sausage factory. You know, it comes out good at the end, but you really don't want to see them make it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I. I <laughs> so since it is sort of autobiographical, who would you see playing Edward, or oh. do you see yourself more as as Nady? No, no the, I, the, Edward was definitely based on me, and casting that role, I don't know, Jennifer Lopez, maybe, <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, kind of sassy, you know, singing, dancing kind of thing, that's how I'm kind of going with that. Yeah. Actually, I've, 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 I've gotten a little taste of that from you, yeah, I see it, I see, yeah. I see it. Um, you, I do know that you're, you're a former opera singer. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm still laughing at my joke. I thought that was so funny. I was, uh... It's so good. If you, we, were, we were just talking about the sort of singular work of a novelist when we spoke before, and it's great if you crack yourself up. Yeah, you know? I, mean, I have to, because I'm alone all day long. I'm just <laughs> laughing to myself. Yeah, it's, it's... As you write. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's great. What was your question again? I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, it sort of feels it was... like a therapy session, really, to me, in a way, with 500 people watching. Well, that's what's so... And I know it's, it's pathetic to sort of bring everyone into our living room, but when I was reading the book, I was like, oh, but I'm Paula. The re he has this Rubenesque friend in the book, and she's a little skanky, which I wasn't in high school, but I am now. <laughs> and, um, and I thought, I'm Paula, and he's Brett, and I remember Brett from, you know, it was, um, it was so wonderful because it took me back, and I think one of the things, um, it reminded me a little bit of Linda Berry. Do you re ever read yeah, her Yeah, and interestingly, the cover art looks a lot like Linda Berry, it does, too, actually. doesn't it? Yeah. But she's so amazing at, at the, her language and, and at putting you back 
she's, she's our age or older, mm -hmm. and she writes like a sixth grader or an eighth grader beautifully. And It was and weird to me. I went back and I read my uh, high school journals in preparation for the book, and it was shocking to me how little my voice had changed as a writer. <laughs> Which means I was either a very mature adolescent or I'm a very immature grown-up. Right, I mean, number two. Yeah, I'm inclined to think the latter, actually. It was very easy for me to slip into uh, that role. And what happened, though, is then I had this misguided sojourn as, as an opera singer where I scratched my way to the middle. And I, um, <laughs> I left that career over artistic differences, which is I thought I had talent and the... <laughs> Didn't. didn't, yeah, so... Uh, so is being a novelist everything you imagined it would be? Oh, and more. It really is. It, it, I am so lucky. It is the best gig in the world, really. I mean, I, I, I work in, you know, in my underwear, in bed. I mean, I'm just, you know, like prostitutes and Winston Churchill, you know? I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> what better gig is that, you know? <laughs> I put those two things together all the time yeah, in my head. <laughs> well, we're so glad you joined us. We had such a blast with you.